The question is, something I'm unclear on. You've said that dark forces steal our energy, and also that we qualify energy in our separate selves. You've also said we need to balance all energy we misqualified before we ascend. How do we requalify energy stolen by dark forces, and is it the same as the energy qualified in our separate selves? Well, I must admit, I'm not entirely sure that I understand the question, so you'll have to um, correct me if I don't understand it correctly, but um, as I understand it, um, you're asking how can we requalify energy that uh, the dark forces have stolen from us or that we have given to them. And I think, you know, that's a very linear way to look at it. Uh, and just let me use an analogy. Let's say that you decide you're going to build an extension to your house. So you get a loan from the bank. And you get, uh, let's say you get a hundred hundred dollar bills. And you pay out most of that money to contractors who come and build the extension on your house. Then, after some time, you start paying back the loan to the bank. Do you have to have the exact same $100 bills with the same serial number in order to pay back the bank? Or will they take any $100 bill you give them? You see what I'm saying? I mean, energy isn't so specific. It's kind of like saying that, um, let's say there's a, a village in a valley and there's a dam. And over the years, people have walked by and they have thrown buckets of water into, into the dam. And now the dam is ready to burst. So somebody has to take water out of there so the dam doesn't burst. That's essentially the situation that happens on Earth all the time. You know, uh, human beings misqualify all of this energy on a planetary basis. And it's, at some point, it spills through from the identity, mental, and emotional level into the physical and becomes physical events. So unless somebody relieves the pressure, the dam could burst. But again, it, let's say you have thrown 100 buckets of water in the dam, that's your responsibility. You just have to take 100 buckets out. It doesn't have to be the exact same water molecules that you put into that reservoir. So if I understand the question correctly, I would say uh, you, you have spiritual tools for invoking light from the ascended masters that can requalify the same amount of energy that you qualified through fear, through a fear-based vibration, because that's the only kind of energy that the fallen beings can uh, steal from you. So that's, that's one aspect of it. That's when we are talking purely energy. But if we expand it a little bit, we can also talk about karma. And karma, you know, it has the mechanical aspect, which is the energy that's qualified through fear. And there's a certain amount of energy. But karma also has a, an aspect where, as I said, you qualify the energy through one of these subconscious selves that are based on a particular illusion. And in order to be free of the karma, you have to both you know, re-qualify the energy and overcome the illusion, let the self die. And so what can happen is that people get entangled with the fallen beings. So that, for example, you, uh, it's, it's not really that the fallen beings force you to give them energy. You give it to them voluntarily because you're supporting them. You think perhaps they're working for a good cause. So an example of this, if we, if we don't look at today's world to avoid any offending anybody, uh, go back in history, you know, there were many people in the 1930s Germany who supported Hitler, who believed in Hitler. And that's a more severe karma than if they were forced by Hitler or fooled. So you can see there are kind of gradations. Sometimes the fallen beings will attack you, uh, violate your free will, and... Uh, Know, kill you, torture you, whatever, and, and you can't help but release a certain amount of energy that they can steal. 
But you are not believing in them. You're not believing this is right. You're not supporting what they are doing. So there's just a certain amount of energy you need to requalify it. But then you can have a point where the fallen beings fool you. And you could say, yeah, you were fooled. You didn't really know better. But on the other hand, you always have the opportunity to educate yourself. So there's a little more involved there. In other words, you have to overcome the illusion that made you uh, made it possible for them to fool you. And then, of course, you can go up to this point where now you are believing in the fallen beings, you are really supporting them, like some people really believe that Hitler was the savior, as other people believe about some of the, cur some of the current political figures. I'm not mentioning any names here. Um, and that's a more severe karma. And then there can be those who think that the goal that these leaders have is justified by some epic cause because they believed in, for example, Hitler. It was necessary to uh, preserve or purify the Aryan race, and therefore it was justified to kill six million people in concentration camps. You know, and, and so this is an even more severe karma because now there's more of an illusion you need to overcome in order to be free of it. But in terms of energy, you know, it is really just a matter of, you know, if you talk about energy as a unit, you know, you have misqualified a certain number of energy units and you requalify a certain number of energy units, then you're back to neutral. And you can do this by spiritual tools, many different spiritual tools. You can also do it by positive actions, you know, by uh, doing something for other people. Um, and, and so, again, you know, energy is just energy. But energy is, of course, misqualified through a certain separate self that has a certain belief, a certain illusion, a certain way of looking at life. And you are not really free from it until you see that, consciously see that illusion and let it go. You can, in some cases, come to see the illusion before you have requalified all of the energy. But the more you requalify energy, the easier it is it becomes to see the illusion because the energy pulls on your emotional, mental, and identity bodies, colors you so it's harder to see the illusion. 